Uh, you're most welcome, my dear viewers. Uh, thank you for following and watching Smart Science videos. Uh, right from the day we started to date. Uh, today, I happen to come to respond to a few concerns from my viewers. Uh, I've got a viewer here who said that uh, please do us a video uh, on how to respond on Section A uh, test items in the final assessment paper in chemistry. And uh, today um, I'm coming uh, with a scenario on materials and um, uh, we want to show our viewers out there how to respond on such scenarios and how best we can achieve uh, the scoring uh, points here. Uh, before we jump into the scenario itself, I would like to begin by reminding you about uh, the basis of assessment uh, concerning uh, numbers that come in this uh, area. Uh, this one is uh, item two in chemistry paper one, theory paper, and uh, it can come along with other chapters like bonding and structure, like the periodic table, uh, materials itself, uh, mole concept, among others. So as we jump into it, uh, expect the following as the main points of assessment. Uh, in, in basis A, uh, we expect a learner to give us the category of the material, a uh, reason, and an example. We normally abbreviate it as CRE, C standing for category, R standing for reason, and E standing for an example. So questions uh, in, in part A, Roman 1 or Roman 2, uh, will always target basis A. And as you're responding to it, uh, respond to it in terms of category, reason, and example uh, of a material being given. Uh, basis, basis B, uh, we look at the suitability of the material. Sometimes questions will talk about appropriateness, uh, you know, ability of a material to perform a given function. So here we shall be in need of four properties of that material and anyone who use of any material of your choice you've selected. So if I give you a scenario that has more than one material, pick one, give us its properties, and complete with one use. Um, basis C, uh, we look at the danger of the material, uh, explanation how, how the danger occurs, and then how it can be mitigated. If you look at this, uh, the three, aspects of this basis can also be equally abbreviated as DEM. D standing for the danger, E standing for the explanation, and M standing for the mitigation. So uh, these are the three main bases of assessment when it comes to item two in chemistry theory. And uh, each is, is having at least three scoring points. Uh, that's why uh, this item will be marked out of nine scores because each basis, uh, A, B, and C, uh, is scoring uh, three scores uh, on the grid. Uh, if I jump into it, I have a scenario here uh, which is given as um, a, a certain supermarket wants to use environmentally friendly and sustainable packaging materials. The management is divided over use of polythene and paper and have failed to agree. So you have polythene the other side as a material and, uh, and uh, then paper bags on the right hand side as another material. Uh, they have decided to seek advice from a person with good chemistry knowledge. And uh, they have landed on, on, on us here. Therefore, they want us to help them 
realize the different packaging materials used. Uh, in this item, we are not after looking at uh, the product, but we are interested in the materials. So under the chapter of materials, there is a section known as polymers. And we look at uh, two categories of polymers. We look at those that are synthetic and those that are natural. So we don't look at the paper bag as a product in item two. However, we look at the component, the material within the paper bags and then categorize that material. So uh, in our response, we look at polythene as a polymer in polythene bags, and we look at cellulose as a polymer uh, in paper bags. And as we are baking up our response, uh, we categorize our substances as natural materials because they exist naturally in the plants, e.g. cellulose in wood used to make paper bags, and then synthetic materials because they are artificially made, uh, e.g. Uh, polythene in polythene bags. So I believe that is very, very clear when you look at it. And uh, it clearly shows us how we can categorize the material used to make a given product. So this, these materials can be building materials or can be uh, packaging materials. However, we look at the component in the material and it's the one we categorize. Uh, advise them on the properties of the materials that can make them suitable for use. Here you select any one if you decide to go with polythene, we would love to see four uh, properties of polythene uh, attached to one use. If you go for paper, we want to see four properties of paper, and then you give it one use. So if I'm a student who has decided to take the line of polythene, uh, we should agree that polythene is an insulator. It's a bad car conduct of current, or it does not conduct current. Uh, so that is one property. It is waterproof. It is non-biodegradable, flexible, and can be changed into other products. And, and lastly, melts on heating, because we all know that we classify polythene under thermal uh, softening plastics. So all these uh, can be properties. We need NFO and then we attach it to one use. So polythene can be used to make uh, electric insulators. Uh, it can be used to make packaging materials like paper bag, I mean polythene bags, among others. When you look at paper, a student decides either to give us polythene alone, four properties and one use of polythene, or you give us four properties of paper and one use of paper. However, we don't want you to give us both. So select one material and give us the properties required. Uh, so paper absorbs water. Uh, it is biodegradable. It can be folded. Uh, it's a bad conduct of current. Uh, those are among uh, the properties. And we agree that it is used to make packaging material, which can be given as a use. So on this basis, we want four properties and one use of any material of your choice uh, among those materials which have been uh, handled by the scenario. Uh, lastly, uh, we look at uh, sensitization on the dangers associated. These questions are going to be arranged in such a way that we respond we, we, we equally respond to the basis of assessment. So uh, here we want only one danger, only one danger, well explained and well mitigated so that you can be able to score three uh, on, on that. So we agree that when we compare cellulose and polythene, it's polythene which is more dangerous. So. Polythene causes soil pollution, leading to soil infertility. Uh, this is because it's non-biodegradable and uh, cannot decompose. Get it? 
So this is mitigated by recycling or reusing polythene since it is a uh, thermosoft. Uh, however, alternatively, one can say when burnt polythene releases toxic gases that pollute air, like chlorofluorocarbons, which damage the ozone layer, causing desertification. And this can be mitigated by recycling polythene. If not, uh, a learner may decide to use natural packaging materials. So uh, I believe uh, on item two, uh, this can act as uh, an air, um, something that can relieve us from the way we've been answering and uh, give us a new approach on item two uh, in section A. Uh, I believe uh, I've responded clearly to one of my viewers who sent uh, me a message. And uh, for those who are out there follow me, following me or watching my videos, please, you can continue uh, posting your concerns in my chat, uh, in my chat, or you can throw it as a comment on a video. And I also uh, respond to your concern. Thank you very much.